Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers. This is Dot, my 105-pound sleepy puppy, not quite two years old. This is our brief daily message of hope, very early in the morning. And uh, I hope that uh, your very early morning is going well where you are. And if you're sleeping right now, <clears throat> then don't pay any attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> I hope you have a blessed day today and you made it safely through the night. And that's a cause for Thanksgiving and for expressing gratitude to the Lord. I did just a little bit of reading last night about a 2010 uh, study that was in the Journal of uh, American Psychiatric Journal. And it was a psychological study uh, done uh, uh, evaluating what it means to, to be grateful and not what it means to us, what it means to be grateful to the people uh, that we say we are grateful to. Uh, when we make expressions of, of saying thank you or great job or expressing uh, uplifting comments to those around us, we now know a whole lot more about what happens in their lives. We know it makes us feel better. Uh, to have a grateful heart and to express that to other people, to say thank you. It does our heart great good when we do that. Uh, and now we know through uh, several different uh, psychological studies that the person who receives the gratitude is more likely to be grateful to others and be kind to others and to engage in pro-social behavior. Uh, and it's sort of intuitive to uh, think that, but now we, we, we really know. Uh, the study uh, looked at uh, many different types of ways of uh, expressing thanks to others and then uh, tracing that in the lives of those other people, uh, the recipients of Grateful Hearts. Uh, and they are much more likely to feel better about themselves, to value, the, value themselves uh, in a higher way, uh, to consider themselves uh, more capable uh, and to engage in kind and thankful uh, and grateful and compassionate behavior with others. Now, isn't it amazing that being kind to someone else uh, changes their lives? And when we uh, express that thanks to them, uh, it changes their day and then the days of, uh, of those that they come in contact with. You know, the world, uh, as uh, many people have, have said, and I believe with all my heart, uh, we, we have a shortage of compassion. We live in an angry day where people are uh, frustrated and bitter, and uh, they go through the day with negative uh, expressions, with negative words, with negative attitudes, negative emotions, and it brings everyone down because that's contagious. But so is compassion and so is kindness. Today, be kind to yourself. First of all, thank God for the blessings he has bestowed upon you, starting with your very own life and the gift of this very new day. And then say thanks to others when they do things to, that are kind uh, and just thank them for, uh, in a general sense, uh, for who they are uh, and change their day and change the day of those around them because it is a... Uh, uh, thing that we pass on, pass it on. It's a wonderful day today, and I hope you experience all that today and enjoy it. I'm thinking about the, the wonderful song, Morning Has Broken. See you here again tomorrow.